You're on. Bob Wynn, this is my show. It's in honor of John Tyler Community College, where I've been taking as an audit uh, classes for the last 15 years. And I'd like to thank Colin Ferguson and Michael Pierce, the two professors who have been really very helpful to me. The pictures I've done recently, some of these are uh, famous artists and uh, and I've used the artist in a background, sometimes a self-portrait, and put those together. This is Child Hassan at Appledore Island off the coast of New Hampshire. Here we have Grant Wood in Iowa uh, from visits to uh, museums in Davenport and Minneapolis uh, on a boat trip down the Mississippi, inspired by Grant Wood and and his beautiful artwork of um, farmland in Iowa. This is Vincent Van Gogh, and in the background is the cloisters in the St. Paul uh, Hospital in St. Remy in Providence, in Pro Provence. And here is Vincent's friend, Paul Gauguin, and uh, a painting uh, that is in Tahiti, where, where he painted so many beautiful paintings. Here's Mary Cassatt, and in the background is Paris, where she lived. Uh, even though she was American, she spent most of her time painting in, in Paris. And Paul Cezanne, this is a painting he did in place called Bercy, which is on the Seine, just below uh, Paris. And you notice the dredges, there were steam, steam powered dredges that dredged out the uh, Seine. And uh, this is in the style of the post-impression style that Suzanne painted. And here we have Diego Rivera and the lady with calla lilies. I saw one of his calla lily paintings in about 20 years ago in Los Angeles. And here's a painting I did of uh, Georgia O'Keeffe in Abiquiu in New Mexico, where she painted until she was 96 years of age. Here's a uh, pastel of Edgar Degas, and uh, he liked to work in pastels, and that's one of his. And now we have Three paintings with uh, Gustav Klimt style with the gold. I didn't use gold leaf, I used a kind of a gold paint. Uh, I had the idea of putting different models than the beautiful Venetian women that he painted. And then here I put Michelle Obama in, in uh, the Klimt style. This uh, this is a painting based on a famous painting by the uh, Scottish symbolist John Duncan. There's a painting where he has two angels taking St. Breed from the Hebrides to visit the Holy Family. And I had this dream that I would replace the angels with seabirds. And so you have uh, a white-tailed eagle, an osprey, and puffins. Uh, Anna Seagull taking St. Breed to see the Holy Family. And here's one of my favorite people, John Muir in um, Yosemite. And I was planning to go there until my trip was canceled in September, but love John Muir. And you have some of the mountains in the background. This was a picture of an old uh, goat herder, silversmith. Uh, Navajo, and in the background I put the uh, White House in uh, Canyon de Chez. Now we'll just go around and see some Western pictures. This is a picture of the St. Jerome Chapel in Taos, which we have visited on occasion. 
in a beautiful, beautiful uh, Catholic chapel in, at the Talos Pueblo. And here's Horseshoe Ben near Page, Arizona. Many people have visited there. It's quite a, quite a place to see. In San Francisco, the cable car, many of you written on the cable car. In the background is Alcatraz. And here is Aspens, which you see frequently throughout the West. And here is uh, a rain dance. And this is from a photograph I took at Canyonlands, looking south, looking south towards, uh, you're in Utah and Canyonlands, but looking south towards uh, what eventually becomes the Grand Canyon in uh, Arizona. Never seen grizzlies fishing, but I did see grizzlies in Denali digging up ground squirrels. But anyway, this grizzly is uh, fishing. And red-headed woodpecker in uh, pastel. A lot of you have seen red-headed woodpeckers. This is from a photograph that I took in Grace Lake, Idaho, National Wildlife Refuge, and these are white-faced ibis, and a beautiful, beautiful part of the country. The other side of the Grand Tetons. This is the California condor in um, the Grand Canyon, and haven't seen one of those, but this is the, the bird with the, the widest wingspan in our country. Golden Eagle flying over Monument Valley. This is from a picture I took with my iPhone and staff up. I was about three feet away from these uh, Atlantic puffin. I think everybody loves the puffins. <laughs> and a long one cow with blue bonnets and other wildflowers. And if you've been out to California, you've probably seen this jay, Stella's jay, black and blue. It's just really gorgeous bird. I think there are more sheep than people in Scotland. Here's some sheep going down the road, a mom and a, a lamb. Giant sequoia in wintertime. One of the most famous castles in Scotland, in Eland Dunan, in the north part of Scotland. Beautiful castle, and beautiful mountains. And this is heather, heather in Scotland. It really blooms in, in the fall, like in September and October. And finally, this is from a picture I took with my iPhone in Iona, uh, Columbus Bay. Beautiful, beautiful stones there. And that's it, thanks.